So right away, I'm just showing you guys what you're going to need. And you'll need a photo frame. I got the 11 by 14 one. And then you'll need an X-Acto knife. Um, I'm using this, but you can always opt out for scissors. You'll need glue sticks as well. These ones are from the Dollar Tree. Then you'll need a hot glue gun. Then you'll need uh, just one of those sticker signs. This one says Hello World. And these are all from Dollar Tree. But of course, pick the one you like. You'll need burlap or ribbon. The one of your choice. I chose this one though. I really love this one. And this one is nine feet. And then you also need the scissors as well. And I'm just using the X-Acto knife to cut out the paper uh, around my uh, photo frame. Just that it came with. I hadn't unwrapped it or anything. And I find it easier than the scissors. I was too scared of scratching stuff up with the scissors. <laughs> so that's why I'm just taking my sweet time. Now I'm just going ahead and peeling it off. Peeling it off. Taking off the wrapping paper off of the photo frame and just make sure you get it all off and get it all around oh and now I'm showing the back side of the photo now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the little clamps and clamp them upward so that way you can take off the back of the photo just like you would a regular picture and just make sure you get them all clean and now we're gonna save that piece of cardboard so do not throw it away now this paper I don't need it for anything so that's going in the trash but now this part we're gonna use with the burlap so go ahead and save it and save the glass uh, screen as well but just put that off to the side and now using our cardboard make sure it's facing this way the cardboard side we're going to use that burlap that we have and we're going to measure out, you can use a tape but I'm just using kind of my hand and then my scissors as well and my eye just to make sure that it's the right lengths. And now you want to go ahead and start gluing them down with the hot glue gun. Make sure your hot glue gun is hot and always be safe and you can always put some Vaseline on it before just to not get sticky like the little sticky extra stuff from it. And you want to cut off the length that you need from the ribbon. I'm going vertical, but you can go horizontal, or you can even like go around in the shape of a square. But I think I like it better this way. See, I've done this before, and I prefer it better going horizontal for me. And just make sure you do the same thing with uh, each one. You'll cut out just the exact number of strips that you need for uh, your photo frame. And trim it. Make sure you hot glue. And make sure you go all the way to the end. And you don't have to worry about covering like every square inch of the ribbon because technically this will be inside of a photo frame, so you'll be good. But I wanted to go in with just a little bit more also. This DIY is so easy, honestly, guys, and so cheap, and the picture came out so cute. My mom requested me to make her one, and so I'm filming it again. And also, this isn't my original video idea, so I'll link uh, the lady that I found this idea from. I'll link it somewhere, uh, probably down in the description box, just in case if you want to go find her video. And thank you guys for watching, and I know it's been forever since I've done a Dollar Tree video. But I'm going to put up a haul sometime because Dollar Tree sometimes they've been getting some new stuff and I'm hoping for them to get some more. So yeah, I'm excited and honestly, I love Dollar Tree stuff. And see, look, here's the end result of just putting all of those pieces together on here. So cute. But now you're going to want to save that screen that we had. And now with that picture, the sticker picture in this go ahead and put this on there like you would a regular uh, photo frame but make sure that you face it where uh, like the hangers you know they're sticking upward facing the right side up 
so that way if you hang it on your wall or something, you go ahead and clamp and secure them down where each uh, photo clamp is. And now you'll want to turn your photo back over and grab those stickers that we bought. And I'm using a marker to like measure out where the photo frame like it hits the glass, you know, so that way I can cut it out and then stick it on to the glass up front. I prefer it this way. I didn't like it inside on the burlap. It looks so pretty on the outside. And I'm just showing where the measurements were. And now you'll take your scissors and you'll cut out where you put those lines at. You can do this before you put on like the photo frame, but I'm just doing it after right now. And you want to make sure you have it right. And I'm just double checking myself. Now I'm peeling the sticker off. Now this part is very important. Make sure that you like don't get a little too close to the frame. I was a little too close right here, but that's okay. But it gets a little bit more difficult to lift the sticker up. And you just want to stick it on there. Try not to get any wrinkles or anything super hard though. But I got one side complete. The other side as well. Make sure like the line down the middle, it blends in together like both stickers. Because I didn't like the look of them looking separate. I wanted them to look like they were put together. See, that's where it gets like a little bit more difficult. But here is our end result. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching and watching my Dollar Tree DIY. Um, DIY picture. You can always put glitter around the frame if you like. But thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time on my video.